All right, folks, welcome back. This is Bellatro every day, and today the playtesting continues. 15 jokers so far created by the folks at Bellatro University, reminding you the goal is to not take over the game completely, but introduce just a little bit of variety. Thus far, we haven't gotten to play with every joker, but that's okay. Some of these are rare jokers which aren't going to show up in every run, and we're not trying to force it. Last time we did get to play with the turtle, the Molt Turtle. I really love this card. I really love the design, the effect. You get 0.2 X Molt every time you pass a small or big blind. It's kind of like the Madness Joker, but instead of randomly destroying your other Jokers, it just grows a little bit more slowly, a little bit more safely, and sometimes that's what you want. Slow and steady is what you want, and I really love that. I really love how simple the effect is. For an x -Molt Joker, for a scaling x -Molt Joker, this is uh, as simple as it gets, right? I think something that a lot of mod creators get wrong, a lot of game designers in general get wrong, you want to create things that are interesting, you want to create things that are exciting, and one way to make things that are exciting is to make things that are complicated, right? If the effect is complicated, then it's got to be interesting. Well, that's not necessarily true. Just because the text box is wordy and complicated just because the effect is difficult to explain to someone that doesn't mean that the strategy itself is complicated the strategy could be linear it could be sort of degenerate uninteresting gameplay potentially once you figure out what is this thing trying to say to me and something that i really appreciate about the vanilla bellatro game sort of the base game experience is how accessible it is part of what makes it accessible to so many people playable to so many people is how simple some of the game elements are and just because some of the game elements are simple and to some folks boring that doesn't mean that it can't be strategically interesting some things can be interesting despite them being quite simple i think the vanilla bellatro game has a lot of room for uh, a lot of strategic variety a lot of room for skill expression hopefully i've demonstrated a lot of possibility for skill expression in the game so i really like things like this if you can make it simple simple is better but also yeah you want to make it a little bit interesting but not try not to make it too complicated when we were play testing the game before launch we had these rules about joker creation creating new effects and one of the rules was each joker can only do one thing right one effect per joker that's the rule for the vanilla game and whatever the one thing that you're trying to do, we had what we call the crayon rule. You gotta be able to write it in relatively plain, simple language. It's gotta be understandable to everybody, anybody who's gonna pick up the game. Uh, it's gotta be un understandable to someone within their first five to 10 hours of the game because what you don't want is for someone to play your game for an hour and then decide it's too complicated and then bow out and then they're gone forever. They only played your game for an hour. What you wanna do is you wanna get them for two hours and then get them for another hour after that and keep inching them along until they are addicted and can't escape. All right, let's talk about the star fruit as sort of um, another case study here. Star fruit says, your first played hand each round gains one level. And one way that you can kind of play this is you can play that pair that's in the opening hand. You can discard once and then play two pair because two pair is pretty easy, consistent to get. If you want to be a little bit more ambitious, maybe Saturn cards do way more than Mercury cards. So maybe what I want to do is I want to use this to get three straight levels. Okay, but sometimes I use all my discards and after my discards are done, then I don't have the straight. So I level up a different hand instead. The star fruit is not optional. Whatever the first hand is, that's the hand that gets leveled up. So if you don't draw that straight after your first two discards, then your straight is not getting leveled up. You're going to use up one of the uses. The star fruit only lasts three rounds. That's it, three upgrades. You're gonna upgrade the high card instead. And so one of the suggestions that I saw in the comments was, okay, what if when it, what if instead of giving you the level up directly, what if it gave you the planet card? And then that way, when you miss, you can sell the planet card for a dollar. Well, for starters, I think maybe just from a balance standpoint, that's unnecessary. I think this is already a strong enough effect. I don't think you need that extra dollar 
in the case that you miss. And also, that's just more complicated, right? The Burnt Joker doesn't give you planet cards, it gives you hand levels directly. The Spaceman doesn't give you uh, planet cards, it gives you hand levels directly. So why not have the Starfruit, the common version of those effects? Why not do the same thing? Just level ups directly. Obviously that means you're not going to have synergy with things like the Satellite, which gives you money for the planet cards that you've used. It's not going to have synergy with the Constellation Joker that gets x mult for all the planets that you use because it's not giving you planets, it's giving you hand levels directly. But that's okay. You don't need to have the maximum number of synergies possible because sometimes that creates extra complexity and what Thunk would say is, is the juice worth, sorry, is the juice worth the squeeze? Is it worth it for all of that extra synergy? Or maybe simpler is better. Uh, if the star fruit here levels up the first hand instead of so it gives you a level up instead of giving you a planet card in writing the joker effect you get to write four less words basically and there is some value to that i think the only effect that's not like this is the blue seal the blue seal gives you the planet cards at the end of the round why does the blue seal do something different from burn joker different from the spaceman different from the star fruit here why is that one weird well the Burnt Joker only gives you one level at a time. The Spaceman only gives you one level at a time. With the Blue Seal, if you have, let's say, seven Blue Seals in your hand and you play high card, you shouldn't be able to get seven levels per round. That would even more overpowered than the Blue Seal already is overpowered, right? You are limited by your number of consumable slots. That's how many planet cards you can get, maximum and it's sort of the same if you're doing pairs you play a pair you have six blue seals in hand that would be even more way overpowered than the blue seal already is so the blue seal is the way that it is for a balance reason funny enough it you know it's it's the way that it is so that it's not more powerful than it already is the yellow card this is another one that we got to play with a lot because it's a common joker it's going to show up all the time yellow card is like the red card instead of giving you plus multi it gives you plus four dollars and one thing that i really like about this is sometimes i want this sometimes i would prefer the red card sometimes i would prefer the yellow card i think that's interesting i think one thing that's interesting about the the red card is the best way to play the red card is not spend money that you don't have. Don't open booster packs that you wouldn't open. Unless it's an emergency and you really do need the molt now, then open the booster pack, get the molt. That's the same as it's an emergency, I got to reroll for jokers, right? Except I don't need to reroll for jokers because I can just open a booster pack and get plus three molt right now, right? And with the yellow card, you have less risk there. What the yellow card does is you can open booster packs that you wouldn't normally open because if you miss, you get the $4 and it doesn't affect your ability to save up interest, right? And with the red card, if you miss and you get the plus three molt, sometimes you didn't actually need the plus three molt yet. What you needed was the money in the bank so you can start snowballing your economy and start generating interest. And so the yellow card allows you to open more booster packs earlier in your run because now there's no risk to opening the booster pack. You, if you miss, you just get a refund and you get to keep your economy going along. You get to keep your money in the bank. One thing that's, to me, really funny about the yellow card, I, I have been reading the comments and I've got you know one person saying, okay, the yellow card, it doesn't seem like it does anything. Maybe the yellow card needs to be $6 per booster pack or $8 per booster pack in order for it to be have any relevance, right? It's way underpowered. And I've got someone else saying, actually, the yellow card is way overpowered. Maybe the yellow card needs to be $3 instead of $4 because of how powerful it is. The same person who used to complain about the red card being unusable trash, right? <laughs> all of the reasons you used to hate on the red card that still applies to the yellow card so it's not free the money that you get from the yellow card there is some opportunity cost potentially and i think in most circumstances i would actually just prefer the red card i would rather have the secure give me the molt that i don't have to worry about because the money is not guaranteed to give me points i can spend money on re-rolling and i might not get the points that i'm looking for Either way, 
I think it's really cool that uh, this effect exists now, or at least, you know, as part of this mod package here, I think this fits really well into the game. Turtle, I think, fits really well alongside these other x molt scalers. Constellation or Hologram or Vampire, obviously those can all get bigger faster. They can get very large, but sometimes what you need is the turtle doesn't require any input. It doesn't require you to change how you play. The hologram requires you to add cards to your deck, which maybe you weren't already going to do. The constellation and the vampire require you to use planet cards and tarot cards in a way that you might not have used them before. You might not have the money to do that. Whereas the turtle is just chilling. And maybe it's not gonna be very big very early, but it'll get there. It'll, it'll be what you need it to be when it's time. Anyway, that's enough, enough rambling here. So far, really happy with all of the designs that I've interacted with in the game, and we'll see what happens with some of the other effects as we encounter them. The next deck that we have after the painted deck is going to be the Anaglyph deck. Okay. In the first round here, we can dig four diamonds. Sorry, I, I realized that I'm not quite done ranting about, like I said, I've got, you know, different people complaining about yellow card too strong, yellow card too weak. Uh, basically what that means is two things. One, the balance is actually good. It's good enough that you can't tell whether it's supposed to be too weak or too strong or whatever it is. Second, uh, it also means that after watching me for several hundred hours, maybe a thousand hours of video footage or whatever, you're still bad at evaluating jokers. <laughs> All right, here we've got, uh, could take a Jupiter card, could take popcorn. Popcorn is perishable, but it does give us the next couple rounds for free, maybe. Um, if we take the Jupiter card, we can, hmm, we can one shot the big blind, we can beat the boss in Mm, it doesn't allow us to one shot the boss. The boss here minus one hand size. That's a compelling reason. That's a good reason to take the plus molt from the popcorn because with the minus one hand size, we might not be able to get a flush. We might not be able to get a five card hand. Or if we do get the flush, maybe we use all of our discards. Maybe we have to use some extra hands before we find the flush. Maybe it costs us extra money. So maybe taking the popcorn actually gives us money if we can win in fewer hands, or we could gamble on a buffoon pack. Okay, so we could take this wash bonkler. Doesn't do anything for us right now, but we can get potentially some kind of joker in the next shop, and then we will have enough material for the boss. Uh, could take a crafty joker here as an eternal, seems pretty bad. So let's take the swashbuckler, which doesn't do anything right now, we said, and go next. Okay. How about we are pretty close to a straight, but I'm going to go for the flush instead. Mm, bummer. Could have had the straight. Maybe should have had the straight. We can play the flush. Maybe should have taken the Jupiter card anyway. Uh, three jacks is 180. So this is a little bit short. This doesn't quite do it, but I don't really have anything else. So kind of a bummer here. This is going to be short and then we play a pair. All right. So by not taking the Jupiter card, we used two extra hands we use three hands instead of one hand so that costs us two bucks not taking the jupiter card okay i need something to go with my swashbuckler here i guess i could try a spectral pack we can get a wraith for a random rare it's gonna cost me four bucks that's fine i guess baron is pretty bad but it's plus four molt, so go next. We might be able to make the Baron work. So with plus four molt, what am I going for here? I think I'm sort of forced to go for the hearts. 
we have almost a straight here. I can try to get a jack or a six. We don't have a lot of sixes left. Um, if we do get it, the plus four mult is not enough to one shot. So maybe it's still worth it to keep going for hearts. And then ship it. Okay, we can take a Mega Buffoon pack, we can take Eternal Northern Lion to go with our Swash Bonkler. Yeah, sure, so we take Northern Lion here, we can sell the Baron now. Okay, that gives us 8 bucks, we can start generating interest now. Um, do we want the Mega Buffoon pack? I think we do. So let's go next. Okay. Um, I just need any kind of jokers here and then the swashbuckler will give us plus molt. So instead of taking these rentals, let's take smiley face. Let's take juggler. Another buffoon pack here. We could try this purple joker. So this is a new one. This is a great opportunity. The purple joker, it's another common scaling joker and so maybe you're not going to want it all the time you're not going to want it later on in your run so maybe this is the time maybe this is the purple joker run okay so purple joker how does it work okay it gains molten chips equal to leftover hands and discards so it's the opposite of ride the bus is the opposite of green joker green joker bus you want to spam your hands so that you can grow this thing you play like you know pairs or high card or something like that in order to grow the bus purple joker is the opposite you want to be conservative if we have the purple joker plus the bull we can win with high card on maybe the first hand maybe the first few hands uh do i want the smiley face or do i want the juggler i think i want the juggler okay so we can play this straight with the plus 10 molt, ship it. We can play a flush, ship it. Okay, so two discards left or two hands left over. Purple Joker gets plus four. Plus four for that one round. Was that difficult kinda <laughs> i don't know if that's sustainable i don't know if i'm going to be able to do that all the time but the purple joker gives me not just multi it also gives me chips which is not a lot of chips four chips uh plus four molt and four chips so this is another one where okay is this effect too complicated uh it counts hands and discards it gives you molt and chips that's a lot of ands right I think this is fine. I think for the purple joker, okay, you want to have this purple flavor. Purple is, it's blue and red, molt and chips. Okay, that's fine. We have some eternals here. So we already have eternal bulls, so we don't need eternal blue joker. Uh, we could take the card shark here and then do kind of this high card build. You play high card and the card shark is going to be a times three molt. Um, card shark a little bit awkward if you have to play two hands now and playing an extra hand maybe then the purple joker not going to grow as fast but maybe that's okay yeah maybe we get rid of the juggler pick up the card shark here and go next now what i'm looking for are arcana packs so we can try to hit temperance or hermits to grow our bull here Okay, with the, all of the molt that I have on the swashbuckler and the chips that I have on the bull, I think I'm going to go for the pairs. So we can play a pair of sevens. We can play a pair of aces. Uh, there was no way that we were going to win in one hand, so we might as well play two hands. And then that's 5,000 points. So we could do that the next round as well. We could play a pair twice. Okay, 
Purple Joker is a little bit bigger. We can take a grabber here. We can grow the Purple Joker even faster. There is a charm tag here. We could get a Mega Arcana skip. Double Mega Arcana pack. That's 10 tarot cards. So roughly 50% chance we hit a Temperance. Or we can save the double tag for potentially an economy tag in the future. Get some money in the future. Oh. Let's take a grabber. Go next. I want to take the grabber now. It does make the bull a little bit weaker, but it allows us to grow the purple joker faster. Let's go next. Uh, ship it with the pair. Looking for another pair. This is interesting. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, this says like plus molt and this says plus chips or whatever, but the purple joker, it says plus, uh, something else. Molt chips. I think it says molt chips or something like that. Mulches. We could take brainstorm. So, okay. Purple joker is eternal, right? Um, if we use Brainstorm to copy Purple Joker, that is roughly the same as a times two molt, basically. This is 100% of our molt. If we double it, that's times two molt. Um, if you use Brainstorm to copy the card shark, it requires you to put card shark to the left, which is maybe not optimal to put the X molt before the Purple Joker. So, you know, this is funny. This is one of the situations where actually I don't take the Brainstorm here. Um, we do take the devil as a money generator. Let's go next. Okay. We can play a pair of sevens. And then the pair of eights should win with the times three molt. We can go gold ace here. Um... Does it make sense to do anything else? I guess I could do a gold eight. I could do a gold eight of diamonds. The boss is gonna debuff my hearts. So maybe gold eight, pair of fours. Something that's interesting about the purple joker is blue joker requires you to not use your discards. Purple joker wants you to not use your discards and if possible, which may not be possible, but if possible, not use your hands. That might be too difficult. <laughs> um, yeah, green joker is hard. Purple joker might be harder. It might be even harder than the green joker, but it does give you chips. And I said before about mm, maybe plus four chips was not very much on the purple joker, but maybe if you get up to something like plus 50 chips, that's quite significant. Let's go Arcana looking for money. Um, could take a hung man here, could take death. I like the idea of taking the hung man. We can take another Arcana pack here. Still looking for money. We can make another gold card. We can make a gold nine. And go next. I did the nine of hearts. Oh well. At least we won't get the hearts debuff in the future. Let's play the pair of queens. Almost one in the first hand there. Let's play the pair of jacks. Yeah, the purple joker has kind of a similar drawback to the green joker where you don't get to dig as deep in your deck. So if you have gold cards, maybe you don't get the gold cards as often. You don't get as much money per round from your gold cards. Is the purple joker too weak? No, I think the purple joker is still better than some commons. There's a lot of commons that are kind of just nothing. And so maybe the purple joker is better than that. Is the purple joker strong i don't think that's true i think the purple joker is maybe a four dollar worth of common joker okay we could take the star fruit oh purple joker gets better if you're playing on the uh playing on the red deck or you're playing on the blue deck extra discard extra hand maybe if you have some synergies like uh 
let's see here burglar gives you extra hands that could be a synergy maybe uh, Andrew Andrew gives you extra discards that could be a synergy the the wheels are turning do we want the star fruit instead of the swashbuckler so getting the three levels is powerful actually maybe unnecessary maybe if we have the bull and the bonkler we don't need to level up pairs maybe i don't need to play pairs at all maybe i should just be playing high card maybe it's the same um now that i have plus 64 chips from the bull and actually plus 20 chips from the purple joker okay what kind of skip tags do we have mm, coupon economy tag that's the one we take the money not right now but we take the money let's go next so we i guess play a high card fine play high card again maybe yeah maybe starting now we just do high card in case we get a supernova i guess if i get a supernova i'm probably not going to take it um, we could take Arcana here looking for money, or we could just wait for the economy tag. I think it's worth it to do Jumbo Arcana. It could be Hermit, it could be Temperance. We could take the Hermit here. Could also be a Death card to copy the Gold card. Could take a Devil card here if there was one offered to us, but we take the Hermit. We don't reroll so that we can save our money for the Bull. Um, I don't think there's any consideration for taking the golden ticket here. I think we use the swashbuckler early so we can grow the purple joker faster. If we win in fewer hands, we grow faster. And then we can switch the swashbuckler out for some X Molt later. Go next. All right, economy tag. 100 bucks, 170 bucks. First hand face down, all right. Um, I do kind of want to draw my gold card. Pair of aces. Oh, actually that just wins. Oh yeah, because now we have all the extra chips for the bull. Uh, okay, we could go back in time. So the drawback of going back in time is you have less hands. Purple Joker is going to grow more slowly in the future, but we do get an extra ante to grow the Purple Joker, so maybe it's worth it. Boss is extra large. I think on the Anaglyph deck, we have good reason to go back in time because we get another, another double tag. Fool here gives us a Hermit. I'm not going to go back in time yet, and I don't think I'm going to take this Mega Standard Pack either. Let's go next. All right, well, this run got a little silly <laughs> because of the bull. Not because of the purple joker, because of the bull. Uh, we could take the magician for some lucky cards. Could take an arcana pack. Okay, um, we can hang them. Yeah, here's the move. We use the magician on the aces, then the eight and five we hang them. Um, that way, if we get a fool, we can copy the hung man. Let's go next. All right, we can play ace high. Got the gold card in hand. 48 cards on the deck, uh, whenever possible. Obviously, if we're playing high card, we have no problem playing high card. But what we want to do with the card removal is we want to draw our gold cards more consistently by removing cards from the deck. We could pick up Myrtle here. We are going to go back in time. Maybe we pick up Myrtle. Maybe we go all five Eternals here. Is Myrtle going to be better than a times two? Because currently the Swashbuckler is equal molt to my Purple Joker. So that would be the same as having a times two. I think Myrtle's worth it. Let's pick up the Turtle here. Let's take an Arcana pack. Fool copying that Hung Man just like I said it would. And then let's go back in time. All right, pick up Myrtle here. So short term, we're a little bit weaker. Long term, slow and steady. That's what I said. Three and two, we can hang them. Play the high card. 
Oh, forgot about that. I guess it's because it's the wall. But two hands, my purple jonkler is going to grow less quickly. Uh, okay, I could take the plutonium here. Um, is it worth three bucks? It's not not worth three bucks. But if we get another fool, we could get another hung man. Maybe that's a reason not to take the plutonium. I'm going to risk it. And I want the extra hand size so we can try to draw the gold cards. In the next round, all my jokers are eternal, so we just go next now. Um, no reason to skip for a rare or a polychrome tag. Boss here debuffs my base chips and molt. Doesn't matter. All right, Myrtle doesn't get bigger until after we beat a small blind or big blind. Ooh, 24,000 there. Just a little bit short. That stings. That's not a high card. <laughs> Oops. Um, brainstorm. Nope. Plutonium. Um, the reason I don't take the Celestial Packs is you only have a chance of getting a Pluto card if that's what we want. And maybe then it takes on average three Celestial Packs to find one Pluto card. $12 per Pluto card is $12. That's 24 chips because of the bull let's just go next and because we have the bull we don't actually have to play high card we can play whatever hand we want if there were for example a boss that said that we couldn't repeat man this is brutal 33,000 out of 37,000 just a little bit short uh, Myrtle come on <laughs> Myrtle I need you to pick up the pace I love you I need you to I need you to move along. All right. Do we take the hung man for the card removal so that we can get our gold cards more often? Or do we just take the hermit money? I think we take the hermit money and, of course, temperance for 49 bucks. Go next. All right. High card. Bang. All right. We did it. Next round's only 60,000. Uh... Okay, Arcana, mm, we can make another gold card, we can make another gold, how about an 8? I should check the boss, see if there's like, I don't know, the spade debuff boss or whatever. Um, take the seed money for extra interest and go next. Economy tag here, we got these three double tags, bang. So that's uh, 160 bucks. We don't get to grow Myrtle, but we do get some extra chips on the bowl. Yeah, I guess that's an interesting consideration. Um, obviously, it's very exciting to get the money and the money to grow the bowl, but we also miss out on growing the turtle. Is it worth it to skip? I think if it was one economy tag, just 40 bucks one time, maybe it's not worth it to skip, but because we have the double tags and you get it four times, then 160 bucks obviously worth it. Let's go next. Oh, this is another one, new one. Pocket Aces here. Pocket Aces, roughly speaking, gives you money when you play Aces. We will play with that one later. Let's go next. All right. Uh, decrease level. So maybe we're trying to not play the high card. Maybe we play the pair of twosies instead. Maybe we play a pair of jacks here. Ship it. Okay. Okay. We could get the forklift certification. Plus one consumable slots. We don't have room because all of our jokers are eternal. This is something that I'm kind of on the fence about. Um, and I'm not sure... I know it's a common joker, but under what conditions do I want the extra consumable slots? I want the extra consumable slots when I have seals, when I have purple seals, it's good to have an extra slot. When I have uh, blue seals, it's good to have an extra slot. When I am shopping sometimes, if I have a lot of money, so the, the condition there is if I have a lot of money. If I have a lot of money and I am doing a lot of re-rolling, 
I like to hold on to tarot cards. Um, hold on to tarot cards to use inside an Archon pack. Hold on to tarot cards to take them into the next round, and then I can kind of save them for the appropriate opportunity, the right moment to use them. Um, maybe I like having the extra cons consumable slot when I have Cardomancer or Eight Ball or the uh, Hallucination, all of these tarot card generators. Those are already value generators. So do I have room in my build for a second value generator in the form of the extra consumable slot? Do I have room in my build for the consumable slot if I don't have one of those value generators? If I don't have one of those tarot card generators, is it worth the joker slot for the forklift? I don't know, probably not. This used to be plus two consumable slots and then it got changed. It got nerfed to plus one consumable slots. And I'm not sure if that's necessary. Maybe let it be two. I think most of the time, even if it were two, maybe on the gold stakes, you can't necessarily justify taking it. You can't necessarily justify the extra space. Or maybe I'm just wrong about that. Let's go next. Either way, the artwork is a banger. <laughs> Yeah, I don't remember if I mentioned this last time, but uh, Jimbo here, he's got the, the spare trousers on. He's got the patch on his pants. All right, we can take an Arcana pack. Mm, Priestess. Let's do a quick check here. The last tarot card that I used was the Devil to get a gold card. Um, I think I'm not going to take the Priestess here. In case I get a fool, is that true? No, if we take the Priestess, either we get the Plutonium, or even if we don't, we at least remove two planet cards from the pool. They won't show up anymore. So that's fine, let's go next. I need to stop skipping so much. I'm making Myrtle sad. Play the high card here. Money. How are we doing on the Purple Joker? Purple Joker is now 75. Molt and chips. Okay. So early on, if you're getting, let's say, 10, 20 chips or whatever, not very exciting. But you get to the end, and now if my Purple Joker is 80, okay, 80 like a 80 Molt red card or whatever, the 80 Molt plus another 80 chips, that's kind of a lot. That's kind of doing a lot. Obviously, we have the bowl that gives us a thousand chips and then, okay, maybe this doesn't look like that much or maybe I have leveled up pairs and my leveled up pairs give me 400 chips and maybe an extra 80 chips on top of that doesn't seem like a lot. But think of it as, okay, this gives me 100% of my molt, 80 molt, and then in addition to that, 20% more chips or something like that. So it's 20% bigger. It's like an X-Molt Joker. Dang, I love the purple joker. I don't know if the purple joker is too strong. I think it is a $4 common. I think it's not a $5 common, but it it tickles my brain in kind of a nice in kind of a fun way. All right, let's go next. No repeat hand types. Ha, take that. Hoodie joker. Ship it with the high card. Nice. I guess this is kind of a rare situation where the purple joker you can actually just one shot every round. Uh, maybe if you're already at the point of one shotting every round, maybe you don't need the purple joker, right? Like, how are you one shotting every round? And if you're one shotting, maybe you don't need this. Uh, maybe that is part of what keeps the purple joker from being too strong. Maybe. The boss is going to be the Violent Vessel. We could take an Orbital Tag here for pairs. And then we could throw hands, but I think it's going to be better. We'll do a little bit more Myrtle action. We could take the Telescope, Celestial Pack, Guaranteed Plutonium. Is that true? I think that's a waste of money. I think we just go next. Mm, all right, well... My apologies, maybe not the most interesting run. Just relying on this bull. Take the Arcana pack.
Star World. Nope, we'll just skip. Go next. Not even worth it for the glass card. High card. Oh, two hands. How dare you make me bleed my own blood. 89 molt on the purple joker. Okay. Too late for Bartolomeo. We got all eternal jokers. Arcana pack. We got an emperor here. Okay. So, emperor, give me temperance. Yeah. Just like that. Hermit. Temperance. Go next. I want the record to show... We only got two temperances the whole run. Uh, the reason for that is... I have $600 that I didn't spend. So the question is, with that $600, how many temperances could we have gotten? Would we have gotten if we were to reroll? Uh, obviously, if you try to spend $600 in one shop worth of rerolling, the rerolling costs ramp up super fast. But if you were to spread out the rerolls and maybe do, I don't know, two to four rerolls per shop, every shop for the whole run, maybe there's a couple temperance cards in there. Anyway, this is all to say, um, if you get, the egg is supposed to give you $3 per round, but since it's eternal, we can't sell it, then every time you get a temperance, the temperance goes back in time. The temperance pays you retroactively for all the time that you've been holding onto the egg. So if I hit one temperance, then basically what that means is the egg has given me $3 per round. If I hit two temperances total, that means the egg has given me $6 per round. And six dollars per round for a common joker slot seems pretty good even as an eternal right even if you don't sell it it's still worth it for just two temperance cards just six dollars per round that's enough but if i hit a third temperance that's now nine dollars per round on my egg now it's super worth it now you feel now you seem like a dummy for scoffing at the eternal egg egg is always eternal even if it doesn't have the sticker egg is always eternal Let's play high card nine. Let's play not a straight. Uh, 1,200 chips on the bull. 2.4 on Myrtle. And 93 on the purple jonkler. Let's go ahead and ship it. It happens a little bit too fast. I can't quite read it what it says the Marvel the purple joker, but I think it says mulches as in it's molt and chips. It's mulches <laughs> Okay, all right, get me out of here. Let's do another one. Let's try the plasma deck Bummer Well, maybe before we move on with the plasma deck, let's ask the question how do we feel about the purple joker? Did the purple joker mm, too strong? Nah. It was strong in that particular run because we had the bull that allowed us to one shot every round. Um, but was it too strong overall? Nah. Was it too weak? Uh, is there another situation in which maybe you can't one shot as easily? Maybe you need to use your discards. Maybe you need to use your extra hands and then maybe the purple joker just doesn't grow at all. Um, yeah, that's going to happen, but is it still better than a lot of commons? It's still better than a lot of commons. The fact that it scales at all, it's still pretty good. The fact that it gives you molt and chips, even if it's just a little chips, molt and chips, that's good enough. Um, do I feel like this is a vanilla-esque effect, right? Does this fit in with the other vanilla jokers? Does this fit in with green joker? Is this more or less complicated than green joker? Is this more or less complicated than the bus? Um, I think maybe this is less complicated than the bus, less complicated than the green joker. Whereas, you know, it's kind of funny with the bus. The, um, the bus, the actual text on the card is kind of long and complicated, but again here, the gameplay is very simple. The gameplay is very linear. Discard the face cards. Play a lot of hands. That's it. Pretty simple. Compared to the purple joker, the text is a little bit more simple than the bus. But the gameplay is potentially a little bit more complicated compared to uh, the handbook. The handbook is another plus molt scaler. We'll see. We'll see with the handbook when we get it. All right. Do I want an investment tag? Sure, why not? Do I want a rare tag? 
I think a lot of people will, but we know better. We don't do that. How about here we go sixes and threes as a full house? Investment tag here is very safe on the plasma deck because we know we can one shot the boss on the plasma deck. We could take the hung man. If I know that the investment tag is coming, maybe the buffoon pack is something that I want. Maybe I can take the star plus the hung man and these two together. I can try to make flush houses. That seems a little bit ambitious. Let's see what the buffoon pack has. Uh, most of the time we don't take the buffoon pack and the reason for that is when we're playing on the plasma deck There are less jokers that we care about. There are not that many jokers that give you chips Things like here the fist we don't want and even if you do find a joker that you care about Maybe it has a sticker. Maybe it's an eternal joker. Maybe it's a rental joker But Because I know that the investment tag is coming up. I would rather be able to see more jokers and have more opportunity to find something right if there's not that many jokers that i care about then maybe i want to see more jokers that way i have a better chance of eventually finding something useful like this faceless joker we could try to get some money um okay what am i trying to do here i'm trying to discard face cards um, three and two, we can hang them. I can play eight and then mute the mic while I sneeze. It didn't happen. Maybe it'll happen next time. Okay. Um, I want to discard for the faceless joker. Uh, do I want to try to greed even further for more face cards? Yeah, probably. So how about the three and two here? How about we hang them? Discard these spades and then let's get a diamonds flush maybe. Um, I have a straight. A straight doesn't win, but let's play the straight and try to get one more face card. Well, those are face cards kind of stinky if I want to get more face cards there's one two three four more in the deck so we could play the jack high here and try to get one of our four face cards I think that's a little bit too risky for me let's not do that let's we have the two pair we could go for the full house we could just play the two pair Uh, we would have gotten the jack. We would have had it. Oh, well Let's not be irresponsible Not when we don't need to okay eternal golden joker If I didn't have eternal faces joker, I would take eternal golden joker eternal golden joker with a rental sticker Maybe we don't take Ever could take a negative tag. Nope. Okay, so in the next few rounds here, we need something. This boss is violently lethal on the uh, plasma deck. So there's not that many jokers that give you chips, which means, okay, on the plasma deck, instead of trying to worry about jokers giving you chips, worry about your hands giving you chips, worry about things like uh, trying to get as many Saturn cards as possible that can give you a lot of chips trying to get as many Let's say Uranus cards as possible But this boss says we can't do that if you have half your chips Then the plasma deck turns your chips into molt. So this is half chips and half molt uh, We get a quarter the points Um, What does that mean? Uh, one thing it means is I'm trying to do faces joker. We take the extra discard. We can get more faces joker money More money means we can reroll deeper and try to find a joker Maybe what I would normally do is I would say take the celestial packs because The celestial packs have a better chance of giving you chips compared to hitting the reroll button Because the reroll button is going to give you other non-chips 
jokers or whatever but because this particular boss is coming up i really do think we need to re-roll hack jolly joker hack could be a source of chips but it's not a great one also it's a rental let's go next um here because we didn't open the celestial packs we need to play two hands here so let's play the two pair first okay we can discard the face cards we can go for how about spades okay I'm going to play the high card. I'm going to try to get more face cards, and then I'm going to try to go for spades. Discard the face cards. Discard the ace of clubs. Okay, one more time, spades. Just like we drew it up. Okay, next round, 3,000 points. We need two hands. Okay, Jupiter doesn't help. Arcana pack has a chance of giving us money. Mm, Hermit here, we need the money. Let's take the Hermit card. We reroll. Uh, you could take Wrathful Joker. It's not as strong as getting a Chips Joker, but it's not nothing. Let's reroll. All right. Very happy to see Uranus here to go with my blue joker. Now we can take celestial packs. Uranus again. $37 we could go one more. Fool Uranus a third time. Okay. Level 4. Now we're pretty deep in Uranus. We can go next. Oh. I got so excited about Uranus I didn't pick up the riffraff. Ah, who needs it anyway? Okay, we can discard, looking for face cards, discard the face cards, looking for a pair, um, well that's awkward, oh yeah, we got blue joker, now nah, we're chilling, so there you might ask, okay, why did we not play high card from the beginning why did we use all our discards because we got the blue joker blue joker means we win in one hand we could take the mime all right mars or venus i think mm, these things are not likely to re be relevant i think four of a kind is more likely to be relevant than three of a kind um Two pair, I like playing two pair on the Plasma deck because you get to play four cards in case you get Odd Todd, for example, or you get Scary Face. You can play four cards. Um, I think playing three of a kind is a little bit of a downgrade, playing only three cards, but maybe four of a kind could be worth it long term. Even without any jokers, four of a kind gives you a lot of chips as the base. Standard pack, I'm looking for gold cards for my mime, though a blue seal is also helpful. Let's go next. All right, here we can discard first, looking for these face cards. I could play a pair here, looking for more face cards. With the blue joker, the pair might not win. Nice. Discard the face cards. Um, yeah, actually I do need the two pair here. Because we discarded a bunch, maybe Blue Joker's not giving it to us. We can, I guess, look for a nine here. Bummer. Okay, I can play aces and eights, throwing away... A jack. Okay. Didn't get the blue seal. Bummer. Okay. Fool for Mars? Nah. That one we hold on to. 
Um, let's go buffoon pack first. We could get the spaceman. Level up our two pairs even further. Okay. Emperor Devil card is really good with the mime. So gold seven. Um we did we have the club's debuff boss? Was that the one that we had? Okay, fool for a devil card. That's great to go with my mime. Could take a business card here. Uh, business card's okay, but we already have the faces joker. We could go reroll, go one more. We could take the golden ticket, but it's a downgrade with the mime. We could take this extra scoop on the clever joker. Go next. Blue gold card. Okay, we can try to get some faceless joker value, but really I just want to get my pairs. I can play eights and threes. I can discard for another gold card. Because we picked up clever joker, this two pair wins. And that's it. The candlelight was fire. Mm, all right, Celestial Pack looking for Uranus again. Right in the middle, there we go. Arcana Pack looking for a Fool. Could take a Fool or could take another Gold card. I think now that I have the Blue Seal and I have the Mime to copy it, mm, I don't think I'm going to have any problem finding Uranus in the future. So I think here actually we use the Devil. We should make a gold eight. I'm picking the eight because the blue seal is already an eight. Blue seal I already hold in my hand. Maybe I wanna hold the two eights in my hand as a backup if I need to. Do we take the star fruit? I think long term we can stick with the spaceman. This is pretty good, right? Um, it's not gonna be every round that you use the spaceman, but it's gonna be maybe Mm, long term, if you hold on to it for a long time, you could get a lot of value out of the spaceman. I think I just want this. Um, the starfruit is only the first hand, but because we have the clever joker and we have the blue joker, foil plus blue joker, we only play one hand every round anyway. Take the starfruit. Go next. Okay. Mm, nines and sevens. Okay. Nines and sevens. Is it worth it to play nines and sevens? We lose six bucks here. Yeah, that's fine. We lose six bucks, but we get two planet cards. Um, Grimbo, no. Rebate, yes, but not as a rental. Bummer. Celestial pack. Mm, if there's, n if we don't see Uranus, we could just skip. Arcana pack gives us the hung man. Yeah, six and fours. Yes. I haven't been paying to face this Joker because now it doesn't matter anymore. Now that we're doing the mime. We could take the Magician. Okay, Cloud9 is $4 per round. Um, nah, go next. Minus one hand size, boo. So I have two pair in hand. I guess out of consideration for the Starfruit, I should keep the two pair in hand. Um, I'm gonna use the Magician on my sevens. And then maybe go turn my sevens into eights in the future. Sevens and fives, let's ship it. One more round on the star fruit. Okay, pick up Uranus again. Celestial pack. 
Let's try Jumbo Spectral. We can light him up. And now we can afford an extra discard. We can reroll. Um, let's wait one more round for the Starfruit. Starfruit. And then we can reroll after. Let's go next. Boss is going to debuff my diamonds. Okay. What do we... We lost a bunch on the low end here, but we still have mm, the upper two pair. I have eights here. Let's try to go for kings, maybe. I could do eights and kings. I could discard for the faceless joker. Let's discard for the faceless joker. Keep the seven. I have eights and twos. Let's play eights and twos. Keep the gold card because it's six bucks. Let's play eights and twos. Ship it. That's another thing you could do with the star fruit since the star fruit costs six bucks, it sells for three bucks. In the third round, if you don't get the hand that you're looking for, let's say you're going for a straight and you don't draw the straight, instead of taking the level up that you don't want, you can sell the star fruit and get the $3 refund. I think that's neat. We could take an Arcana pack, we could go Spectral first. Let's go Arcana first in case we get an Emperor. Um, we get a Hermit instead. With the Hermit, we got a nice amount of money. We could do a little bit of re-rolling. Um, I want to re-roll for tarot cards before opening the Spectral Pack. We get Gift Card, which is kind of like an egg, but better. We can keep re-rolling here. Obviously, there is the Economy Tag here. We could skip for 40 bucks, but I think it's better not to skip. I don't claim that we're going to be able to earn $40 worth of money in one round from the mime, but we do get $40 worth of value in terms of being able to see another shop. And also, uh, yeah, you know, potential for blue seal value. Anyway, do I want to spend $7 before opening the Spectral Pack? Yeah, that's fine. Bummer. I was hoping for some tarot cards that we might be able to use. Uh, we could get a gold seal. Uh, we could take Aura. Aura has a 50% chance to give us foil, which is pretty good on the Plasma deck. Um, Polychrome is pretty good when we have such high level two pair, maybe. But I think the gold seal is going to be best. Um, gold seal could be an eight. Gold seal could be a nine. Let's go gold seal eight. And then go next. Okay, I've got tens and jacks. Let's lean into that. Um, I could discard the face cards, but if I discard the face cards and don't draw the pair for my blue seal, I'd be pretty sad. I'm looking for a seven here. I guess I have the eight, but I'm looking for a seven. Uh, there's only one seven in the deck. Let's try to get a nine instead, maybe. One more time. How about tens and nines? Just like we drew it up. You like that? You like that sound? Okay. Uranus? All right. Arcana, we can do a little re-rolling first. Could take this Washbunkler here to go with the gift card. Obviously, that's very good on a deck that's not the Plasma deck, but because we are playing on the Plasma deck, and also because we have so many chips from level up two pair, we don't need that anymore. Let's just go one more. All right, that's a little bit expensive for a re-roll, so let's take the wheel. Let's go Arcana another devil card that means we can spin the wheel first use the devil on probably a nine 
some consideration for using the chariot to make a steel card we do have the mime with the steel cards but mm, probably doesn't matter unless you have a lot of steel cards and you can only hold so many steel cards in your hand um, the two pair the base molt is not very high uh, it's much better to just take the money and go next all right my blue seal is disabled it's debuffed i'm devastated i can discard the face cards i don't know if we are at the point where we can start spamming high card i don't know if i'm ready to answer that question let's discard these phase cards um i can keep the seven and try to pair the seven i think my other seven is gold so maybe we try to pair the nine instead well we did pair the nine um yeah let's try to dig for the blue seal wait the blue seal was debuffed already um let's try to dig i can get one more gold card and it would be worth a lot of money all right sixes and twos let's ship it All right, basically we confirmed two things. One, we can always one-shot with two bear. Also, high card doesn't do anything anymore. We could get another star fruit. <laughs> uh, and you wanted to make the star fruit stronger. You wanted to make the star fruit give you planets. No, 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 no. The star fruit is already strong enough. I don't think it's too strong but it is pretty strong six dollar common is the star fruit supposed to be uncommon instead hmm maybe compared to the bean is it better than the bean hmm i don't think it's as good as the bean uh here standard pack i guess i could just skip we haven't seen a lot of standard packs uh we could take a gold seal eight um if I take the gold seal, it's going to be harder for me to draw my blue seals, but it is going to be easier for me to get my pairs of eights. So I'm kind of into it. I'm kind of into it. Uh, blue joker we don't need anymore. We can pick up the star fruit here. Rebate is a rental. Mm. Would I rather have the money from the rebate or level up from the star fruit? I think I'd rather have the rebate money even as a rental do we want the forklift certification okay maybe this is one of the situations where the forklift is actually is kind of good with the mime and the blue seal kind of a rare circumstance but could be worth it um it's perishable so let's not get too excited here go one more uh eight dollars let's go next boss has decreased level of hand okay so the benefit of not taking the star fruit is it's going to be easier for me to dig i can just spam high card until we get the cards that we want start by discarding the face cards uh we want to discard the tens we want to i guess keep discarding here maybe i should have played high card and saved one discard for an extra 10. i guess if i already discarded two tens i wasn't really counting on drawing another 10. here drawing a gold card any gold card is worth six bucks um so let's play the high card looking for another gold card if not we can ship it with the two pair next round is seventy-five thousand. two pair is still going to be enough um, maybe for the boss we might need two hands which is unfortunate because this is the boss that d levels you when you play too many hands celestial we can skip 
Arcana, we can reroll first. Uh, could take a Seltzer here to re-trigger my Gold Seal. Um, I think the rebate's better currently. Could take Steven here as a rental. Negative rental, we don't need Steven. Um, don't need Scary Face. Uh, this is not the run for the Purple Joker. I'm really glad we got to do a Purple Joker run earlier. Uh, could take the Chad here to re-trigger the gold seal instead of the rebate money. Rebate, which is a rental. I think long term, I want to have the Chad because I can use the Chad to not just get money. Uh, that's the main way that I use the Chad is for money. But the Chad is especially good on the Plaza deck because you can re-trigger foil cards. You can re-trigger stone cards for extra chips. I can make a stone card right now. Um, stone... A three would be good. We can stone a two. All right, eight dollar reroll. I'm just gonna go next. Okay, gold seal eight in hand. Um. So if you wanted to be maximally greedy, you would play the pair of fives, so we can draw face cards for the faces Joker. Then we discard. Looking for tens. Okay, I've got the pair of eights and I have a pair of sevens. Um, there's only one more seven in the deck, so maybe we don't care about the sevens. Maybe we want to discard the face cards. Maybe we want to play the pair of eights right now. For the money. And then save a discard for face cards. Okay. Discard the face cards. Uh, keeping the nine and the jack, I guess. Maybe throwing the nine and the jack. What am I looking for here? I'm looking for eights. Uh, I've got tens and jacks. All right. That's what we do. We do the tens and jacks. Um, I'm going to keep the stone card. So tens and jacks, we can re-trigger the stone card. Ship it. See? The stone card. 100 chips. All right. Okay, 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 okay. Standard pack, uh, blue seal would be cool, gold seal is fine, gold seal king as a glass card is fine. Um, on the plasma deck, mm, for the first, I want to say 80% of the run, chips are just going to dominate. It's just way easier to get extra chips than it is to get very high molt. But in the end game, it is possible. It is possible for molt to overtake. The thing that needs to happen is you need to get enough X molt and maybe... Glass card plus the Chad, maybe that's enough X Molt. Maybe that's not usually enough X Molt, but we also have high level hand because we have the overpowered blue seal leveling up our hands. Okay, um, $8 reroll. I think this time we can afford it. Uh, do we have vouchers? Extra discard voucher. Let's go one more. All right, we kind of missed, and that's okay. I have a death card here. Okay. So death, we can copy the gold seal. We can copy the gold card. Probably copy the gold card is better because we have the mime. Extra sevens are great. Go next. There was a strength card. I would like to see a strength card in the future to turn my sevens into eights. Here we have nines looking for sevens, maybe. I have nines and sevens. Maybe I'm looking for a king. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do that. Jacks is fine to discard. Okay. Um, Play high card seven. Play high card a couple times. I am going to try to get the blue seal. I'm not going to try too hard. Maybe. 
but if we could get another nine that could also be worth six bucks all right let's play kings and nines throwing away a five ship it d level bummer so there mm, 170 molt compared to uh like 600 chips or something like that so one more glass card one more glass activation or maybe a steel card then the molt could overtake or at least be equal we could go back in time i think we have a strong enough build to where we just one shot with the two pair we can afford to go back in time we're not really using our extra hands maybe yeah all right let's open the standard packs i'm looking for mm, a nine is not it let's skip let's go back in time um now maybe we have time to square up if we wanted to we could get rid of the gift card and we could square up um nah we we could square up but in the future we're probably going to find something better anyway and if i'm just going to replace the square joker later anyway might as well just not even take it we could take the sixes to re-trigger some lucky cards sixes would be another money generator do we need another money generator with this build um not really i'm gonna take the magician anyway though six dollars we can re-roll another negative negative steven go next all right what's the move here we've got fours okay I've got fours and one eight, looking for another eight. I've got fours and eights, and we got gold cards in hand. Okay. Lucky eights. Ship it with the two pair. Yum. All right, Uranus is all over the place this time. Let's go Celestial Pack, looking for more. Now I don't take Mars cards anymore. My two pair is high enough level that nothing else can catch up. And that's one of the things that's kind of stinky about the, the blue seal. Um, it's fine if you have some kind of mechanic in the game that's going to over level one of your hands. And maybe that's what Burnt Joker does. Burnt Joker allows you to overlevel your high card or overlevel your pairs. Maybe the Spaceman allows you to level up your hands but doesn't allow you to overlevel your hands. And maybe because the Blue Seal does so much, because it gives you so many planet cards, because you level up so high, then you don't have any incentive to pivot to anything else. And that's kind of boring. That's kind of, uh, you get locked into one hand rather than maybe your straights you want to pivot into straight flushes maybe your flushes you want to pivot into flush houses two pair maybe you want to pivot into four of a kind maybe but you don't get to do that because of the blue seal um, burn joker is a rare joker whereas blue seals come up all the time go next Okay, I have sevens and fours, so let's do that. I have sevens and fours. Gold cards in hand. Um, I could play the king here for the money. I guess we could ask this question. Um, I have the gold cards for the mime. Is it worth it to discard the gold cards and get the blue seal instead? Or is it better to, or better on average to just take the money? I think it's better on average to just take the money. Like you could risk it for the blue seal, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna get the blue seal. And even if you do get the blue seal, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna have your hand, your two pair hand. Um, demonstrating here a weakness of two pair versus pairs 
holding on to the two pair in hand, we only get to discard two cards at a time. If we're holding on to gold cards, we only get to discard one card at a time. Sorry, I meant uh, two pairs, four cards. You discard four cards. Holding two gold cards, you discard two gold cards. Either way, it's quite limiting. Playing four cards. Handbook. Yeah, this is another plus molt scaler handbook. This gets bigger when you play different hands. That's it. That's what it does. Uh, you get plus one molt every time you play a hand that hasn't already been played that round. So every new round, you can play high card and pair and two pair and finish with a straight. Finish with a flush or something like that. Um, I really like this. I think this is really cute. It's a hand book. It cares about different hands. Anyway, let's go next. Priestess is fine, I guess. We got a nice amount of money. We should keep re-rolling. No on the red card. Uh, could take Northern Lion here. Could take Splash. Splash is really good with the Chad because then these gold seal cards, you can add them to any hand. $9 reroll, I'm just gonna open the Arcana pack. Okay, we've got Hermit, we've got Strength. So is it better for us to take the money or does using the Strength make it easier for us to get our two pair? And if it's easier for us to get our two pair, then it's easier for us to hold the gold cards and hold the blue seals. Mm, I'm going to take the money and I'm going to save the magician or maybe I'm supposed to use the magician here on the two kings the benefit of using the magician here is now if I get a fool card the fool will copy the hermit except maybe that doesn't matter if in the next round if we get the blue seal anyway then that's going to be my last played hand or last played card is Uranus nine dollars i will go one more aha uh -huh. we got a new rare joker the eclipse joke what does the eclipse joker say plus 10 chips for every hand level above one okay so in this particular run where we have a crazy amount of money from the blue seals and a crazy amount sorry money from the gold cards and the mime and a crazy amount of planet cards from the blue seals all of those things considered we only have 24 level on the two pair i think maybe in an average run assuming that you don't get the blue seal i would say in an average run maybe you end the run with level 12 to 15 on whatever your hand is and maybe at the same time you could get some other planet cards um, maybe when you're using the constellation, it's not unusual for the constellation to get up to times three or times four, or, mm, rarely times five. I want to say rarely times five, but you can get times three or times four or whatever that is. So times three is, uh, times three is 20 planets times four is 30 planets, right? So let's say the eclipse here. Eclipse is plus 10 ships per hand level. So if that's, uh, let's say you get to the end of the run and you have 30 levels spread across different hands, then this would give 300 chips, which, okay, let's compare it to the stuntman. Stuntman gives you 250 chips. It gives you minus two hands, but it doesn't require any input. It doesn't require any work. Is this too weak, plus 10 chips per hand? Is this strong enough? Maybe it's actually, maybe too weak is not the right answer. Maybe this is too strong. Maybe it's strong enough. Why is it a $9 rare and not a $7 rare or an $8 rare? Um, $9 rares are kind of rare, right? <laughs> Unusual, right? Uh, there's a lot of $8 rares. There's $10 rares, $10 premium rares like the um, Blueprint or the Brainstorm. I think... Invisible Joker is an $8 rare, not a $9 rare. This being $9 is weird. Is it strong enough to be worth $9? I'm not feeling it. I don't think so. No. 
Um, there are other scaling chip smolt jokers in the game, and so the question is like, okay, for a scaling chip smolt, sorry, not chip smolt, but scaling chips, scaling chips jokers in the game, how big does the square joker get by the end of the game? Square joker usually may be uh, between 250 and 350 chips on the square joker. How big does the runner get? Uh, kind of the similar range, kind of maybe 300 to 400 chips on the runner. Uh, how big does the castle get? The bull gets pretty big, but the bull is much more expensive than all of those other ones. The bull is much more difficult. S not spending all that money is kind of a big deal. Um, so, I don't know. Eclipse maybe uh, 12 chips per level. Maybe 15 chips per level. I would have to do the math. But 10 seems low. And also $9 seems expensive from a balance standpoint. But let's not talk about balance. Okay, what about the design of the card? Chips per hand level. Is that a type of effect that could exist in the vanilla game? I think so. With an asterisk. So this is one of those. Okay, why does this say gives chips per hand level and not chips per planet card used? We have this fortune teller. Fortune teller is molt per tarot card used. Why does this not follow the same format? chips per planet card used, molt per tarot card used. Well, the reason for that is by having this be a little bit more broad, this doesn't care about planet cards, but rather this cares about hand levels, then you get more synergies. We talked about this in the beginning of the video. Okay, now you've got hand level synergy. That means this synergizes with Starfruit, this synergizes with the Spaceman, this synergizes with the Burn Joker. The question is, is the juice worth the squeeze? Is the extra... Mm, is the extra synergy worth the extra complexity, right? If this is just 10 chips per planet card, then maybe you don't need to have as many words on the card, maybe. I don't know, maybe this fortune teller says uh, tarot card use this run. Maybe that language is longer. Maybe planet card use this run is longer than having to say not just hand levels, but hand levels above level one, maybe. Why is it above level one? Because starting out, you've got nine level one hands. Actually, you have some secret hands, so it's 12 level one hands. This would start out at 12 plus 120 chips. That would be too strong. I think it's kind of important that the eclipse starts at zero. What about Wii Joker? Wii Joker, that's also a scaling plus chips Joker. How big does the Wii Joker get? Maybe uh, between 600 and 1200 chips. Maybe as a rare, this should also be that kind of level of chips. Anyway, obviously we take it because we're playing on the Plasma deck. Let's go ahead and um, are we ready to get rid of the gift card? I think we have maxed out temperances already. Let's get rid of the gift card. Take the Eclipse and go next. Here I have sevens and fours. I do need to play five cards, but that's not a problem. Let's try to find one more gold card if possible. There we go. Um, I don't get to play the eight, which is a little bit sad. That's okay. I mean, we can still play it. It's just not going to score. That's okay. Ship it. Okay, telescope, we get to see Uranus. Okay. Um, don't need a voucher tag, we already have 200,000 points. We could go Arcana, we could reroll first. We could get the other rare Joker, Eclipse, rare chips scaler. The other one is the 10 gallon hat gives us X mult for money. Not on the plasma deck probably, but maybe in the future. I'm pretty excited to play with this in the future. This gives us 0.2 mult for every $15, which means if I have $15, wait, 0.2 mult for every 15, okay. So if I have $75, this is a times two. If I have $150, this is a times three. Question, is it easier to get $150 for a times three 
or is it easier to do the uh, driver's license? Driver's license gives you also a times three. Um, probably driver's license is easier. Easier to get 16 enhancements rather than $150 in the bank. Okay, but this can go even further beyond. Is this the right amount of x -molt? Is this the right amount of rate for the 10 gallon hat here? 0.2 x -molt for every $15. Maybe it should be 0.2 per 20. Maybe it should be 0.25 per 15. There's a couple different knobs that we can adjust here. Um, just looking at this right now, this seems fine. This seems exciting. This seems like um, just very much fits into the game, very much fits into the vanilla game. We have the bull, we have the bootstraps. It makes sense that there's going to be an x -molt version. It makes sense that the x -molt version is the rare version. It's funny to me about the Eclipse that it cares about hand levels because Eclipse is supposed to be space themed, it's supposed to be planet themed. It doesn't mention planet cards. Am I gonna die on this hill? Are, are the Bellatri uh, University people, are they gonna come after me? My own people? Let's take a strength card and then uh, let's mm, go business. All right, here, let me make a pitch to you, okay? <laughs> There's not that many ways to get level ups without going through planet cards. There's not that many ways to do that. Maybe if you introduce the uh, star fruit, then as this common joke, there's more ways to do that. But in general, there's not that many ways to do it without having to go through the planet cards, which means if you remove the synergy, if you remove this to where it counts only planet cards instead of hand levels, then now, uh, now you can make the number bigger. If there's less synergy, you can make the number bigger. Maybe, or maybe that's the opposite of what you wanna do. Maybe what you wanna do is you wanna keep the number medium and then allow for the extra synergies. And then when you do get those extra synergies, then it's a very exciting, uh, kind of like the hologram, for example. Hologram, very exciting with the magic trick or DNA or certificate or Marble Joker, all these different ways of adding cards to the deck, even when the maybe the hologram is not normally very or not normally as good as, let's say, the constellation. Anyway, do I want this business card? I don't have room for it, so maybe not. Uh, let's go one more. Could take the seltzer, go one more. Compost bin, this is a weird one. Compost bin, um, it scales plus molt when you discard. But then it has a limit to how much you can discard. It's kind of like a consumable joker. It's kind of like a food joker there. You can, once you get it up to 20, you can stop discarding. You could pretend it's like the green joker and just never discard once you get it up to 20. It's kind of like the popcorn, except it's a popcorn that doesn't disappear on you. It's a weird one. I think of all the jokers, maybe this is the least vanilla of them. This is kind of borderline for me. I don't hate it. I'm just confused by it. Let's open the Arcana pack. Okay, death card. Mm, I think it's time to do the move. And by the move, I mean I use strength on the sevens to make eights. I can use death to make another eight. I can turn, we can drop either a four or an ace. Let's drop the four. Now we got a bunch of eights. Go next. All right. Let's go eights and tens. I have eights looking for blue seal. I guess we throw away the lucky one. Got the blue seal. Okay, eights and tens. Ship it. We could try to dig for another gold card. I'm just going to ship it. Um, all right. With the Chad, you do actually benefit from playing separate hands. So let's play the gold. Let's do our due diligence. We'll play the gold card. Uh, we actually get a lot of chips from the Eclipse. So maybe let's not play too many hands. Ship it. Oh, yeah. We got the telescope. Uh, two pair is still our most played hand.
Okay. We got another Joker. This is the Warlock. Look at look at this look at this cute little Warlock. Okay, Warlock cares about lucky cards. Warlock says when you play lucky cards, one in seven chance to destroy the lucky cards. Oh no, that's sad. Okay, but then you get a spectral card instead. Do I actually want a spectral card <laughs> when I destroy my lucky? Do I want to destroy my lucky cards? I don't know. Anyway, I think it's cute. One in seven chance. That's that's a weird one in seven. That's cute. Uh, Warlock itself is a seven dollar uncommon. Is Warlock? Here's here's another thing. Okay, about uh, adding you know a new Joker pack to the game. You want to add it in such a way that it's not uh, intrusive, right? You don't want to take over the game. So one way to kind of cheat on that is create these Jokers that are gated by enhancements. So for example, the Lucky Cat, you can't get the Lucky Cat unless you have a Lucky card in the deck. Same with the Warlock, you can't get the Warlock unless you have Lucky cards. Same with the Double Rainbow, you can't get uh, Double Rainbow unless you have Lucky cards. So, you know, secretly, in most runs, you're not going to see the Warlock. But when you do get it, okay, interesting, is this something that we want? Um, I think right now, maybe the only thing that I would consider is getting rid of Clever Joker. Clever Joker is currently 130 chips. Uh, we already have, I don't know, 900 chips from other sources, maybe. Warlock does have a combo with a Chad, maybe. If we do get the Spectral cards, what Spectral cards do we actually want? I don't know. Okay, if I compare the Warlock to... Uh, Sixth Sense, or if I compare this to Seance, which also generates Spectral cards, is this easier or more difficult than Sixth Sense? Sixth Sense, which all you gotta do is find a six until you run out of sixes, and then it becomes stressful all of a sudden. I don't know. I like the idea of this. I haven't actually played with it, and I'm not gonna take it now. In Anti Six, maybe it's a little bit late for the Warlock. Also, it's perishable, so we don't get to keep it forever. Though I do like removing cards from my deck. We have a build that just wins already. No frills, it just wins already. Let's just coast through to the end. Let's go next. Um, I have aces. I am looking for eights. I have nines. I'm going to throw away the nines because I think I can get the eights one more time for an eight. Right, we have so many eights on the deck. Eights and aces. Let's go ahead and ship it. The Violet Vessel is... It's like 2.4 million points, isn't it? So, you know, we're not out yet. Alright, let's not get too comfortable. Buffoon pack here, we got two rentals we can skip. Do a little re-rolling. Um, $8 for a re-roll, sure. Death, perfect, go next. Um, we have hearts are debuffed, bummer. I have queens, I have eights. I will discard. I need the blue seal. We got the blue seal. That's it. Yeah. So turn the four into a gold card. Play the eights and the queens. Ship it. The benefit of making the extra blue seal right now, on one hand, we just have an extra eight, which is useful. But now if I have two blue seals in my deck, I can draw them twice as often. Or if I have two in hand, I can play one and keep the other. Okay. Next boss is play only one hand. Let's go standard pack. Um, purple seal 10, or do we want to steal eight? Steel card is 
okay with the mime. It is an eight. Getting more eights could be helpful for our two pair dreams. I'm just gonna skip it because if we do add an eight, but it's not a gold eight, it's a downgrade. Before we go spectral pack, we do a little re-rolling. Temperance gives me 38. It's not quite 50 bucks, but I still think it's worth it to get rid of the gift card when we did. I am noticing the game is starting to lag a little bit. And I don't think it's my PC. I don't think that's the issue. Maybe something with the modded content here is creating a little bit of lag. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's the Eclipse that is too powerful. Uh, we could take the Onk to copy the Eclipse for the extra chips and abandon the Mime. Or I guess this also has a chance of copying the Faces Joker. Let's skip. $9 reroll. I guess I'll go one more. Go next. Boss says we only get to play one hand. All right, fine, sure. Uh, we get a stone card that we could discard. How about... I don't have any more sevens. I could try to get a nine. One more... Mm, I guess I do technically have a pair of sevens. So... I think I'm going to try to get the nine. If we draw a nine, it gives us money. It gives us six bucks if we draw a nine. Uh, yeah. Throw away one of these eights. Nine and eight. Gold seal in front. Let's ship it. Actually, it's not six bucks, it's 12 bucks because we have two sevens, two gold cards. A mm, little bit of an omen here for the boss here, the boss that says play only one hand. Um, take a celestial pack. We have the telescope. Just checking that still our most played hand, even though we played high card a couple times. Standard pack, we can skip a steel card. We have plenty of eights. We're looking for, I don't know, ways of drawing other cards that are not eights. We could take the drunkard here, replace the clever joker, and maybe that makes it easier for us to get our two pair. But it's an eternal, and we got a lot of money, so we could do better. Eternal yellow card. Too late for the yellow card. Yellow card, that's the one that gives us money for skipping booster packs. All right, I got the gold seal eight. Let's try to get a king. Try to draw a king or a nine also works. All right, so we've got the eights. We've got the blue seal. We got the nine. Okay. Um, drawing another nine or drawing another pair gives us six bucks. We can play the one eight by itself for the money. We can play nines and eights here and ship it. Yeah, the, um, just the vanilla game, the vanilla blotter game, it has a memory leak in it. So if you play for a long time, your game starts to lag, regardless of what you're doing in the game. Even if what you're doing in the game is not really intense, if you're just playing for a long time, the game will start to lag a little bit. Um, maybe this Eclipse Joker, maybe this is tracking something in a weird way that is different from the vanilla game, and maybe this new tracking is eating up more memory and it's making the memory leak worse. Maybe that's where the lag is coming from. I don't know. But I am noticing it. It's a little bit sluggish. I have Devil. I can slap on another gold card. I don't know if that's super important as much as something like... Obviously, we have the synergy with the Mime. But maybe we have enough gold cards already in hand. Maybe we want the Emperor for 
uh, Hung Man or Death or Hermit or Temperance. There's just so many good hits. Hierophant is even fine on the Plasma deck. Chariot is fine with the Mime. All right, step one, find any pair that's not an eight. So throw the eights away first. I found a pair of kings. Step two is find the eights after, after the fact. Now we have a pair of eights and a pair of kings. We are set up here. Okay, I could use the Hierophant here. I could use the Chariot here. I'll, I will use the Chariot on an eight. Um, do I want the Hierophant? I guess I'll just use the Chariot on the eight. Gold seal, ship it. I guess something to keep in mind about the Eclipse Joker is it is retroactive. Retroactive scalars are different, right? Uh, Constellation, when you pick it up, it doesn't start growing until after you pick it up. Same with the Wii Joker, it doesn't start growing until after you pick it up. Whereas with the Eclipse Joker, there's no bad time to get the Eclipse. Hmm. Bummer, we can't take the Molt Turtle. Boss says cards debuffed. Gotta sell my Jimbos. That's okay. Compost bin again. Death is great. All right, where are we at? Um, okay, okay. So there's a hermit here. I could use a chariot here. Yeah, what if we go chariot on the nine? Make a steel nine. Arcana. I can use the death card to copy the steel eight. I can use the chariot to make another steel card. So now we're getting to the point where one steel card is not very much, but they do stack. And two steel cards, all of a sudden, now relevant. So how about a steel jack? Okay, do a little more re-rolling. Um, we could spin the wheel. Ah, foiled. Go next. All right, so if we skip to the boss, we do get the double juggle tag. So that's plus six hand size. Would you look at that? All right. So I think we sell the chat. I think maybe the chat is good under many circumstances, but maybe here's a situation where maybe the chat doesn't matter as much. Maybe let's discard on the low end here. Um, I guess I will keep the eights. Okay. Discard. Keeping the high cards. Okay. So if you want, we could do two kings, we could do two eights. And we can see with three steel cards, how does the mime do? Ship it. Okay, 700 molts, almost as much as our chips. All right. All right, so we got some funkin' to do. Okay, Eclipse, Eclipse Joker, 10 chips for every hand level above one so it only counts the additional hand levels that you get from using planet cards or whatever it is um this run we had access to more planet cards than we would normally right more planet cards in terms of uh we had the extra blue seals give us extra planet cards the extra money from the gold cards gives us maybe extra booster packs we can take more planet cards that way um, extra money also means re-rolling in the shop for extra planet cards. Um, I wasn't really thinking too much about the Eclipse, so uh, there were plenty of planet cards in the shop that I could have bought but ended up skipping. 
maybe there was a priestess at some point which i also skipped um so maybe maybe the eclipse could have been bigger maybe i could have worked harder let's say how much bigger i don't know maybe another plus mm, i don't know maybe plus 20 plus 20 planet cards is that reasonable i don't know maybe that's not reasonable maybe plus 15 maybe uh the eclipse could have been let's say 600 600 chips on the eclipse for a rare joker Obviously, that's much bigger than the uh, stuntman, but the question is how hard did we have to work in order to achieve that? Is that something that's going to happen all of the time? And I think probably not. I think this is maybe not as strong as the, blue, as the Wii Joker, but the Wii Joker, you do have to work a little bit to scale the Wii Joker, whereas this is retroactive. You just pick it up in anti-7, and then it gives you a ton of chips. I think maybe the Eclipse is not too powerful and I might be a little bit suspicious about it being a little bit underpowered, but if it is underpowered, maybe it's not too bad. Maybe it's not too underpowered. I don't think it's a $9 rare. I think maybe that's a little bit too expensive. Maybe instead of making the chips bigger, make the price smaller. That's my thoughts from the Eclipse Joker, from literally just one run with the Eclipse Joker. This used to have a much more complicated effect. I like this effect better. I like this. Cares about different planets instead of just one. Well, cares about hand levels. I'm not sold on that part. Um, anyway, otherwise pretty chill run here on the Plasma deck. If we didn't have the Eclipse Joker, 400 chips, we would... I guess still have plenty of chips from two pair. We might even have to play two hands. Can you believe it? Take care, everyone.